I can't believe that more people aren't talking about this because if you have a secondary gain then you're gonna have a hard time manifesting your specific person back no matter what you do. It's basically a hidden benefit and it's not a real benefit, it's just a benefit that your subconscious mind holds on to that keeps you in your current reality and blocks you from getting what you want. Some hidden benefits that I have seen in my coaching with my clients is for example if there was a bad breakup and so that client is still holding on to a lot of pain and hurt and resentment, then the hidden benefit here is protecting the client from manifesting that person back, even if they consciously want that, that specific person back, but their subconscious mind thinks that that person means pain, that person means hurt. And so your subconscious mind, your own brain is going to protect you from getting back together with that person. If somebody is scared that that person is going to hurt them again and leave them again, then that's going to be the block that is going to stop them from even manifesting their person in the first place. There are so many different secondary gains and it really depends on the person. But another one that I can give you is when somebody wants to stay in victim mindset because that gives them more attention. They have noticed that them complaining about their situation, them complaining about how hurt they are because their specific person did this and that and left them and dumped them and all of those kind of things, they feel seen they feel heard, they feel understood by their friends or their family members and so that's gonna keep them stuck.